Hello and welcome to Warhammer Geheimer Snack version 1.02, updated for Reaper's Due. Now, I did say that last time we were playing Warhammer Geheimer Snack, that if we ever came back to it, then we would be playing Beastmen. However, Beastmen are broken. Well, at least for me, currently. I got into several game-breaking bugs, so we're going to play Orcs. Orcs are cool, Orcs have lots of special mechanics, and uh, we're going to look at some of them now. Now, the main Orc mechanic that's pretty cool is that they've got this trait here that's Orc. Well, everyone in the mod has a trait that represents the race and they all do sorts of things. But Orcs, you see that the fertility is negative 1,000. Usually, you'd see that as a problem in that you would not be able to have children. However, if we go to someone like Bogga Bogga here, um, we can see that we can actually adopt them. So Orcs just basically adopt other people, which is fantastic. Now, apparently you can only have a total of three adopted heirs, living or dead. So that's a little bit worrying if we, um, for instance, adopt this guy, then he dies before we die, and then we adopt another one. So we have to be careful, but we should always, we should probably always have like one adopted person. So that's what we're going to do. They also have special things for the size of the orcs. We're a large orc, so our vassals like us more. But if we, we were underneath someone else, they would dislike us. Um, they have all the normal stuff, but they also have prefers gork or prefers more. We just hate the other one. That's who we are. We're going to play as Warboss Craggy Zogger. Uh, we have a council we can go and set up, but basically we're it's relatively same to uh, similar to tribal, except that we get a whole bunch of different little uh, things that we can upgrade. So we can upgrade troll pens, and that gives us war beasts in our levy and things like that. Uh, more um, more pits give us heavy cavalry, things like that. So. What we're going to do first, we're going to work out where our capital is. I think it's here, and we're just going to set that as our crown focus, so it gets a little bit of extra prosperity. We have a whole bunch of people we could kick into our clan with special character actions. Uh, we'll look at those in a minute. We need a designated regent, probably going to be whoever we set as our heir. We need to select a focus for our life. War, of course. Why would we not choose war? Uh, we can press de jure claims. Uh, ambition. Our ambition will be to win a war. Gets us more martial. Seems like a good idea to me. We're unmarried. We cannot marry. There is only one uh, gender of orc. So we'll just uh, dismiss that for just now. Title lost on succession. That's because we don't have an heir. No heir. Yeah, that's because we don't have an heir. Let's, uh, let's start with that. Let's choose an heir. So, 19 martial. Uh, huge orc prefers gork. Seems perfect. Whiz bang. You know what? I say I don't need to look any further. Whizbang, you are our heir. Right, and he's unmarried, and we need to just disable that for just now. Right. So if we have a look here at uh, where am I? Laws. We'll see that our inheritance law is fairly simple. It's open inheritance. Most powerful son of the ruler as uh, succeeds. So right now it'd be Whizbang, a uh, craggy git. Uh, whiz get Whizbang, craggy's git, a uh, zog. What a name. But yes, he would be our heir. Uh, realm laws are fairly simple. We have centralization, which we cannot change any of that because we're war, war banned government. Greenskin control. So basically, this is, I believe, worked off your prestige. So every time your prestige gets to a level, you will get an event that will then increase your control over greenskin, which then give you extra advantages. And then when you get to a certain level, I think you get an extra Cassis Belly or something like that. Uh, it doesn't say it there, but at least from what I was reading. Vassal obligations, there are none. Council law, there are none. Really easy, right? Technology, we can look at all that later. We know what that is. At military, all fairly straightforward. We do have retinues that we can get. We have heavy infantry, so that'd be cool. Or black orc infantry, as they call it. I uh, don't want to care about the special character actions. We need to set, set our regent. We'll set that to Whizbang. We have, um, wait, our dynasty. Whizbang, is he here? Oh, Whizbang is not here, in fact. Okay. Uh, we'll just not set it then. That's fine. Right. Anything else we want to do? Well, we've also got uh, Intrigue. So, what we can do here is we, if we're at war, for 800 prestige, we get 2,500 men. Very useful. Unite the Zogger clans is a thing you can do it, um, when you have 10 count titles in your realm and have 500 prestige. Basically, it gives you a king level title. Not that amazing, but it does have its advantages to do with things like your domain limit, your vassal size, that sort of stuff. Uh, we have all the other kind of default stuff for the mod as well. So, let's uh, work out what we're going to do. So, we're Clan Zogger. 
we control pretty much this amount of lands. Let's see what we got. Um, Zogger Horde. Yeah, we're actually not clan. Wait, we not clan Zogger? Yeah, we are. We are clan. I think overall we're Zogger Horde from Clan Zogger. There we go. We control this land here. And I think what we're going to aim to do is we're just going to aim to expand as much as possible. So this Grey Wasteland looks like it should be ours. They only they have 2.9k troops and we have 1.4. I'm going to guess their troops aren't as good as ours. Okay, what have they got? They got light infantry and archers. What have we got? We have um, probably similar light infantry and archers. Hmm. Okay, we just have significantly less men than they do weird that that would be the case can we like off them vassalization or anything weaker than i am well okay at least they know it uh so we can't attack them let's see what else we can attack dozik uh they seem fairly weak they have no allies but they do get to call in their vassals i believe so that'd be another hundred or so oh no that's another couple hundred then another little bit is that all the vassals they can call they can probably call in their smaller vassals as well another hundred Okay, and then another 74. So we could we could beat them. How about these guys? Um, they have 4,000. So I think we're going to have to expand this way. And I think we want to take this province and then start trying to get into this land here. Now, they, they only need 700 to siege down that. That's not too bad. We could do that. Right. Um, I think we have to declare a war. Um, or, although we're going to wait a couple of days. And the reason we're going to do that is in case there are any events or anything. Actually, we'll wait a month. Just in case there are any events that fire, anything that gives us more troops, anything like that. Oh, what we... Oh, we're being declared on by these... By this person? What was she declared for? Uh, Conquest of Zinar. Uh, okay. That's kind of annoying. Right. Uh, do, we could call it... We can call in our vassals to war as well, I just remembered. Uh, right, so 600, and our other vassal has 700. So we can call them into this war. We are going to lose the war, though. Uh, it's not a great start. We could surrender. That loses us 800 troops. We can still win the, Zo the Dozig war if we go for it. Uh, we should have set up our council as well, actually. There we go. Uh, we'll set you up to organize a raid, although that would give us troops that might get annoyed at us. That's fine. Uh, here, build legend, uh, build zeal, uh, scheme, and don't care, but probably like improve relations with the vassal who dislikes us the least. That's actually quite like us because we're an orc and we're quite strong. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we are a large orc. So... I think we surrender this war, then we declare on Dozik. Oh no, what we do is we raise up our, all of our men. Ah, no, we declare the next war, we surrender this war, then we... De yeah, that's it. The correct order is... Declare for this land. Our invasion. Okay. Uh, we can attack any bordering province and occupy them as far as the boys can manage, what it says. Oh, no, right, that's just saying we can take any provinces next to us, yeah. So we'll declare on that. We'll, sur we'll raise up our men. We'll surrender this war. There we go. So we lose that. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. That's, that, yeah, that's what we're after. Uh, Vlad von Karstein summoned a massive army of undead. He almost does that. We lost that war, but we get to keep the men for just now. We now call in our vassals to the new war, and they'll accept that. Right, now, now, now we're, now we're, now we're doing right. It all right, yeah, perfect. Everything's perfect. People will come to war with us. Good, good. Seems like we got that right. Um, it doesn't seem like he got to call in his vassals though, because the he only has his own men. I mean, that's good if he can't call in his vassals. I thought that he could though. Oh no, some more are starting to appear. So maybe they just, some of them didn't accept, maybe? I don't know. Uh, do we have commanders set up? Uh, we do have some commanders set up. Good. Uh, can we split our army up any more? More? Not really. Okay, so do we want to lead the center? I think we probably want to lead the center. Yeah, we'll lead the center and then we'll have Asnar lead one of the sides. Oh no, we'll have Corrin lead one of the sides. There we go. Although Corrin's really bad at Marshall, so we'll have Asnar. There we go. Then we'll just go over and get the war goal. 
Although it appears that our vassals are already well on their way to uh, achieving that for us. Fantastic. Uh, the mod does still run fairly slowly. Like, um, it used to run slowly and now it still runs slowly, basically, is the situation. Uh, we'll let our vassals siege that down for us. We don't need to do any work. I mean, if it's that easy to siege, we'll just let our vassals do it and we'll go find a fight. Yeah, someone to fight. Uh, 13. This is Wasteland. What is Wasteland in terms of... Is there any way of seeing what it gives you for negatives? Um... No. Ah, there we go. Wasteland. Nope. Uh, I think that means it does nothing. It's like planes then, would be my assumption. Let's see. Tacking onto it. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's like planes, because it doesn't seem to be giving any advantage. Good. We will take over, well, we'll kill that army. And uh, I guess we'll siege down some of his land while we're here. Bogga Bogga approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make people notice what a great ruler you are. Require some gold in your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. Um, well, those are some fancy words for an orc, but um... So we give him a small amount of gold and he makes us a monument. Sure, it'll give us some prestige, so it'll be worth doing. Uh, might as well siege it down while we're here. Um, get some extra land, basically. Yeah, I think we're going to keep the land that we get as well for ourselves. Not not that there was much of a surprise there, but I think that's what we're going to do with it. 26.6. Uh, we could probably assault this down and be absolutely fine. Although we're taking attrition. Why are we taking so much? 15% attrition with only 900 troops. That uh, must be an orc. Thing. Not an orc thing. It must be a dwarf thing. Yeah. 100% war score. Enforce our demands. There we go. Oh, we also got... Oh, we get land that we siege as well. I did not realize that. That is glor that is actually glorious. Okay. So, this land is the wrong land for us. We can make it green. Ah, right. This is the thing for orcs as well. So basically, what we do is we say that we'll destroy the holdings, but it'll become a tribal holding if it isn't already. Yeah. Um, I think that's what we want to do. Yeah. The new boys coming to Ontus are chanting, plundering, and raising the Zogger banner all through the place. This land belongs to the Orcs. And we get some prestige back for doing it. Okay. So we can't make this... Okay, we can't make this green because currently we already have people doing that, I think. Yeah. But we can do it over here. Yeah, okay. Let's do that again. There's a lot of new boys coming to Apstom. All them plundering and scrapping the runty huts into proper and green camps. Okay, it's green. Perfect. That's fantastic, I think. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else there. Uh, we can actually just disband our men here, can't we? Um, enemy presence in our homeland, it says. If we wait just a tiny bit, we can disband our men here, can't we? Nope. Okay, we'll go back to our capital. That's fine. Uh, we need a new ambition. Uh, let's win a war to get us more prestige. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's minor titles, and that's more green skins that can join our camp. Fine, good. Get all these people sorted. Once we get back here, we should be able to disband them for no penalty. And then we can see how many new men we actually have. Disband. This is... Well, I guess we'll go all the way to our capital, and then we'll disband, then. Uh, how many men do we have? It says we only have 700, but... I, oh, I suppose that's because all of these provinces aren't as good as the one that we were previously had, which is fine. Jugrog arrived at our court. Alright, fine. Right, back to Nacta. Hopefully, there we go. Oh, okay, it didn't matter where we disbanded them, we only got that many. Uh, that's fine. Right, so we could attack into Hatran now. He has no vassals. Uh, do you want to just be our vassal? Nope. So if we attack him, he we will come back. He will come under us because we have enough from our vassals to win the war, right? Yeah, we have 800 from that vassal. Uh, this vassal doesn't like us as much anymore. Why? Um, oh, because he is a huge orc. Ah, okay. That's fine. Um, so what we want to do is we want to attack Hatran. I think we want to attack Hatran. 
we declare an invasion, and we just get to take the land. Yeah, we'll declare a hat ran invasion. We will call in our allies. One will decline. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do there. Uh, he decided not to join our war. That's the one who dislikes us, right? Yeah. Uh, we could give him a gift or something. But we don't need to do that right now. Where's our other... Oh, he's down here. That's fine. Um, I think we'll attach to him. Glurulsh. Is that our the person we'll pat? He's from the clan Patches, apparently. Our shouter. Oh, he must be the uh, guy who didn't join us, right? Maybe. Wait. It says that he is our shouter. Oh, I was looking at fighter, not shouter. Uh, shouter up here. Okay. Yeah, he's the person who didn't join us. I actually kind of don't want him leading. I kind of want him wherever he is. Where is he? He's there. Kind of want him improving relations with himself. I can't improve relations with himself. Ah, in which case, uh, get to fight him. Right. I like the music. I, I think they've added some extra music to the... Uh, well, either it's music from Vanilla I haven't heard in a while, or they added some music to the mod. I'm fairly certain they added... They definitely added some music when I was playing the Beast Man. I heard some. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully this 800 men work out where they need to go. I'm going to try and join with them, but... I, I really don't want to lose our personal strength right now. Uh, where are you off to? Oh, they're just going straight to the uh, objective. The monument promised by Boga Boga is finished. Upon unveiling, the statue of yourself is, refe is revealed, and you notice the crowd smiling, giving you a round of applause. Fantastic! We get prestige. Man, there's masses amounts of prestige. Good. Right. Uh, let's keep heading over here. I guess we can de-siege this bit. The boys of the Zonga Horde tribe are starting to respect you in the proper way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That low green skin control. So what does that mean for us exactly? Uh, that means that we have extra domain size. Uh, and we have extra vassal limit. Yeah, good. And people, church and tribal vassals like us more, basically. Good. That's what I'm aiming for. Right. Head over here. So yeah, that should be a very quick siege down. And we should be able to unsiege this land super quick. Yeah, it's only, it's only got one. There we go. Unsiege it. Back to zero. Run away as quickly as we can. Six. Uh, 27. Oh, we're going to get away. Yeah. Good. Uh, we should be able to go join with our vassal over here and possibly attach ourselves to him. There we go. Uh, we're just going to salt it down. There we go. 100% war score. And enforce our demands. Atran is now ours. It's now actually ours. And because it, well, it's recently conquered, so it's not that good. But we don't have to convert it to green because it's actually, you know, it's already green. Good. Expand our men. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. It helps with search ranking and it helps me know what you want out of the series. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.